mummies, look how much my daughter's hair has grown in the last two years. And that's because she has one of the best regimens for length retention. I'm going to be sharing all of it with you today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my daughter's full updated wash and moisturizing routine. Hey mamas, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so before I begin, I like to fully saturate my daughter's hair with warm water. Mamas, can I get an amen? Praise the Lord. Look how much length my daughter's hair has retained in two years. Amazing, right? <laughs> okay, so then next I like to shampoo my daughter's hair in four sections. And by the way, I wash my daughter's hair every two weeks with a regular shampoo. And then I like to clarify her hair every four weeks with a clarifying shampoo. Now once I'm done shampooing my daughter's hair, I like to go straight into deep conditioning and detangling her hair in sections. Wow! Love my hair. <laughs> I love your hair. Yeah. Whenever my daughter tell me that she loves her hair, it gives me so much joy, mamas, honestly. Now, mamas, as you saw, I went in with my fingers first and now I'm using the Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. I like to take my time when I'm detangling my daughter's hair. Using a good deep conditioner that has good slip coupled with my technique. So working in sections, starting from the ends, working my way up to the roots really helps to minimize breakage. And of course, this helps her to retain length. So once I'm done, I like to plait her hair loosely halfway and leave the end just so the hair doesn't tangle back up. And then I rinse in these plaits. So now that I'm done with that, I like to squeeze some of the excess water from my daughter's hair. And then I like to start moisturizing her hair in the shower. So I apply her leave-in conditioner to her hair, her damp hair or her wet hair should I say and this is the first step of moisturizing her hair this just gives me a really nice base so her hair is lubricated it is soft it is smooth and then when I apply the rest of her layers when I moisturize her hair baby her hair is just all types of good and her hair also is able to retain moisture for the whole week So once I'm done, I like to apply a microfiber towel to her hair. Bye. <laughs> I apply a microfiber towel to her hair just to take out a bit more of that excess water so that I'm moisturizing her hair damp rather than wet. So this is the second step of moisturizing and I like to do this step outside of the shower. So I work that leave-in into her hair a bit more and then I apply her cream. By the way, mamas, I moisturize my daughter's hair weekly. And as you all know from my other moisturizing videos, you know I like to apply a bit more cream to the base of the hair. This just keeps the base of the hair from drying out. If your kids are like mine, it was rolling on the floor, this part is important. And then finally, I add a little bit of her hair butter to her hair just to um, help the moisture retention, to help, you know, slow down the evaporation of moisture from her hair, which keeps her hair, you know, retain the moisture for longer. So 
once I'm done with that, I like to plait her hair. Mum, as you see that new growth I was telling you in the video that I recorded with my daughter in 2022, look how much that new growth has grown out. You can't even see any of those short hairs around the perimeter of her head. And that's why I always tell you, mummies, don't worry. They go through different phases with their hair. As long as you are minimizing breakage, they will retain length in all areas. So once I'm done, sometimes I leave her hair hanging, but sometimes she requests for me to tie it into two um, ponytails like this, which I find so adorable on her. Now mamas, this simple but effective regimen works. The proof is in a pudding. If you want to know how I was able to grow my daughter's hair out to tailbone length in three years, check out the video shown right now on the bottom left hand corner of the screen.